it's unusual to be nominated for two Cookie Awards in one year, and almost unheard of to be nominated for three. But sure enough, one of our busiest paddlers has attained this dubious honor. Our award winner is an avid fisherman who wants to be on the river fishing as early as possible. Strong upriver winds and fast downstream currents can spell trouble for a fisherman in a whitewater canoe. It's similar to crossing a strong eddy line. You must have a good lead and a strong brace. Our award winner learned the hard way that it's much harder to brace with a fly rod than a paddle. This avid fisherman was in such a hurry to break camp and get on the river that he forgot to pack away his toothbrush. So he just sticks it in his fishing vest pocket. Because the avid fisherman can't brace with his fishing pole, he flips. Now the fish are brushing their teeth, and our award winner is faced with dental hygiene crisis for the rest of the week-long trip. Then there was another fishing trip on the Yakima. Our award winner was the trip leader, having had plenty of experience paddling this particular stretch of river. He has a reputation for wanting to fish from dawn to dark, often coming in after all the other fishers have finished for the day. After running the shuttle and leaving our award winner's van at the takeout, they put on the river for an enjoyable day of fishing. After a long, hot day, five boats have arrived at the various times at the takeout, but no sign of the trip leader. After a two-hour wait, they get worried and decide to drive upstream to look for him. As they pass an upstream takeout ramp, someone is waving. Sure enough, it's our award winner. Did he have some trouble and have to take out early? No, he thought he was at the first to he thought he was the first to the takeout and wondered where everyone else was. Maybe the fact that your van wasn't there should have been a clue. Then there was the canceled trip made good. It seems another award winner had arranged a trip on the sky just the day before, then canceled it at the very last minute. You know who you are, Seth. When our award winner was on his way to the put-in, no worries since there were in the neighborhood without enough boats to make a trip, our award winner and some paddling friends took the opportunity to scout Boulder Drop from every possible angle. That foresight played off only a few weeks later when our award winner styled his first ever attempt at running Boulder Drop. So, for amassing the most Cookie Award nominations in recent club history, we present the Cookie Bonanza Award to Steve Riedemoe.